Hey guys, um, so it's currently 1.23 a.m. I have rotations at um, 12 p.m. today, so I have some time, um, which is why I'm still awake. I've been moving and like just trying to get everything together in my new apartment. But I received my step scores earlier this week, I think it was Monday or Tuesday. Obviously, I've still not checked my complex scores. I wanted to be able to do it over the weekend. But this weekend was so busy, guys. Like, literally so busy because I was moving. I've been moving. Hi. So, like I said, my step scores came out earlier this week. And I was like, it would be great if I could check everything this weekend. Obviously, that didn't happen. So, now, um, what I want to actually check is to see if I actually passed step. I passed come next and you guys saw the reaction to me opening that and I passed that. I don't know if I passed steps. So I wanna see if there's a way I can look at my step score, like look at the step results without actually seeing the scores, just to see if I actually passed. And then maybe I'll check the scores. And this is a weird score reaction. I didn't check it right when it came just cause I just didn't have the energy to deal with each one, one by one. And I just, didn't want to be stressed because I know how I get when I receive bad news like literally I can't think of anything else but that and god forbid this is going it's not going to be bad but I feel like that's how I am I operate by thinking of the worst case scenario and how I would react in worst case scenarios before it happens but I'm obviously hoping for the best case possible and I'm praying for the best case possible but I don't know so I just prepare for worst case scenario that's kind of how I am unfortunately and usually i'm not this type of person like i check my scores like i said right when they pop up but i just i knew i wouldn't be able to handle it <laughs> so that fear of not being able to handle it the fear of like dealing with like negative thoughts um overruled my curiosity okay i think i've talked a lot so i'm just gonna keep you guys right here Goodness, square report available today after 11 a.m. I need to open it. Uh, I just want to check to see if I pass. That's all. So I'll probably hide part of it so I don't see it. The score report right there, guys. So if I click on that, I guess I see it. And I'm very scared. I just want to see if I pass. Like, how do I see if I pass? Goodness. Okay, I need to get something to cover part of the screen. To get my sister's shirt to cover part of the finger. <laughs> I'm stressed. Okay. This is just too much work to see. My score report. Look at what I'm doing, guys. I just want to see part of it. I only want to see if I pass. I don't want to see full score. I know this is a lot, but guys, like, I'm very nervous. Standardized exams have really stressed me out. So I'm gonna click on that and I'm gonna cover part of it. <sighs> I don't know what I'm doing. I'm so scared. <laughs> what happened? Oh, is that it? Oh, Jesus. Okay, I'll click on that and cover it. <sighs> I just wanna see if I pass this all. Oh my god. I'm so scared. I'm so I'm shit in my ass right now. I'm actually so scared. I don't wanna see the score. Bad mistake. Let's open now. Hey! Alright, guys, let's open this up. Why is it not showing? Oh. Switch. I had to switch my room because I'm so stressed. My heart is actually beating fast. Okay, but we passed. Okay, you guys saw the pass. We passed, and that's all that matters. So I'm gonna close this score report because I'm shaking. <laughs> okay, I want to check to see if it's a two. So 
Oh God, you actually freaking shaking. I wish I could check the percent. <laughs> actually fully shaking right now yes i'm just gonna close it i'm not gonna check it i'm gonna close it we passed we passed and that's all that matters i'm to i'm shaking gosh i don't know why i'm literally shaking oh god this is going to be the worst i think my sister has to do it because i'm shaking okay we passed both and I'm happy we passed both. Oh my god, I'm scared because I feel like I saw part of it. I saw something, but I don't know what I saw. Okay, I'll talk to you guys later. Um yeah, talk to you guys later. <laughs> Bye. Alright, so um this is the next morning after I wasn't able to check my scores. Of course, forgive my room is a whole mess because I'm literally still I just moved in yesterday. Well there's my sister. And she has my, well, I don't know if you can see, there's my iPad. And she's about to check my Comlex score. And then after that, we'll probably check my ESME score. I've sort of seen the score already. I kind of saw it last night, like I said. <sighs> not very, I'm not too happy about it. Um, so I don't know what Comlex is going to give me. I'm very nervous. I'm actually literally shaking. Um, but, you know, let's just see. So I'm gonna keep it right here. Um, I literally just woke up y'all, so everything is a mess. Okay, so now <clears throat> we can click on view scores. Okay. Do you see the score there? Mm -hmm. the... Yeah. Okay. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Okay, I'm gonna ask. <laughs> Hey, my heart. I'm gonna ask the first question. Oh, I'm trying to look at her face to see anything, but I don't even know. She's not smiling too much, so I'm not sure if this is good. So what does what's the very is the first number a four? No. Okay. You're sure the first how many numbers are you seeing there? Three. Yeah, sure. The first number is my four. Yeah. Let's see. Okay, my class is not free. So it's a five. Mm -hmm. First number is a five. Well, I've seen it. It's not the best score. Um, so both scores are not very good. Um, so yeah, well, that's it. I guess we can check here, so maybe let me just get it over here. Let me both scores now i'm chewing so forgive me but they're both not good <laughs> so i don't know what that means for me as an international student here um yeah they're both low so that's just not good for me right now i don't know what this means i guess my little hope is that next year people who are taking this exam are taking a pass fail so maybe they may not put too much emphasis on step one, I don't know. But I'm also an international student, so lots of these things do not apply. I wouldn't say that I didn't work hard for these exams. I know I put in a lot of energy, I put in a lot of work, regardless of what everything going on with life in general, I tried my best. And exam day came and, you know, well, and I scored lower on both exams than my last practice exam. Um, my UWorld SA2 was almost, I think I did 
eight points lower or nine points lower than my UOD SE2 on this exam. For Comlex, I did close to 50 points lower. Um, so unfortunately, my phone stopped recording um, midway into that video and I was getting late for rotation, which was supposed to start at 12. So I just kind of let it go. I was also not feeling my best. Um, but the good thing is I actually was able to get over it like really quickly. Um, I knew I could have done better, um, especially because I had done better in my practice exams. Um, but nerves come in all the time with these exams. I just never really perform to my best on standardized exams in general. Same thing with the MCAT. Like I literally could be top 20% in my class um, and end up being close to like low 20% on standardized exams. It's happening in high school. It happened for the MCAT. It's happening with the USMLE and Comlex. So I just, I don't know what it is. <laughs> I really don't know what it is I don't feel like oh I regret things because I did work hard um, I just have to figure out what my issue is with standardized exams um, and I could go on and on about like exam day what actually happened exam day crying the first half of that exam because I just honestly I could go on and on maybe that'll be a story for another day how my exam actually went on like test day because I did record part of it on test day but I don't really want to go into that because I'm like I'm done with it I passed um, I know there are people who would be happy to have the score that I have um, but I just know of course I'm a little bit harder on myself because I'm an international student and international students don't have it easy you need to perform like really really well on all these exams your scores matter more than anything else and I'm an international student in a DO school so that also makes things a little bit more difficult for me um just being transparent but you know i think i was put here for a reason i know my mcat score wasn't the best and i was still able to get into med school and i know a lot of people are especially in my case who might be international students or not you know are still trying to get into school into med school so um i am grateful for where i'm at i'm happy that i passed i'm happy that you know it wasn't like a horrible pass you know it could have been much worse to be very honest um, so I want to be at least a little bit grateful about that and hope that I will be able to match um, I will put out videos on how I was able to honestly improve my scores within the span of like two three weeks um, there was a certain point where I was honestly not even passing um, the MBMEs and I was like what in the world am I doing that's wrong like why am I not passing this is ridiculous um, so there was a point where I was actually not passing and then within two three weeks I just I changed up a lot of my study methods and study like plan and I was doing you know pretty decently um, and I wish I had more time but that's also another thing like being in you know in med school having like four or five weeks to study or six weeks of dedicated is sometimes it's enough time sometimes it doesn't feel like it's enough especially if you don't start studying early um, which was another mistake. So I made a lot of mistakes okay so I'll definitely be talking about my study methods I'm so happy that you guys um, moving forward will not have to worry about like your scores because the score thing is honestly very <sighs> it is stressful honestly if all I had to worry about was passing I would have been over the moon right now I definitely will be sharing all of the resources to use with you guys um, in an upcoming video so stay tuned um, and definitely subscribe to the channel um, leave a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next video thanks for watching stay blessed and stay safe